Mr. Morgan. Miss Grimshaw. You okay? <clears throat> sure. Mr. Bell seems to have found a couple of men he knows. They're sitting over there. Really? Dutch seems fine with it, but it feels odd to me. Yes, very odd. And this fella here, this fella's Arthur. He's a good guy, a real good guy. Sort of a, a modern day hero. Strong, tough, dumb as rocks. Like a, like a, a cowboy in a little book. <laughs> I'm only kidding. He's a warrior, straight up a killer. We've had some scrapes together. Rescued me from a hanging. Got shot up by a bunch of Southerners. Lot of fun we had together. Back in the day. Ain't that so, Arthur? Time of my goddamn life. Just two old buddies, ain't we, Mike? No bad blood from me, cowpoke. Is that right? You think you're so clever, don't you? Oh, shut up. But I see exactly what you're doing. I don't like the sound of this. All I'm saying, something happens, we get split up, we meet there. Oh, one Gila Dam, all right? All right. You ain't leaving right now, are you? Just making sure we got a plan. You never know how these things are gonna turn out. I'm trying to look out for the boy. And you? I'm working on it. Let's keep talking, okay? It's good you're thinking about this. I don't see things turning back around at this stage. Nope. Who are those two creepy fellas over with Micah? Two guns he knows. What the hell are they doing here? I have no idea. <sighs> Arthur, I'm, I'm real scared. This, this ain't good. You're gonna be okay. But be ready. Just be ready. I understand. What's wrong with you, Arthur? How you mean? <laughs> causing all this trouble just when we need to be united. I ain't causing no trouble. <laughs> I just ain't standing for any more lies. Ain't loyalty mean nothing to you? I ain't dying for whatever nonsense Micah and Dutch have concocted. And, well, I don't matter much anymore, but I ain't letting the women here die for that neither. What's your problem, brother? No problem. No, you've got a problem. Look at how you're acting. I don't have a problem. You have a problem? I don't know yet. But use your brain, friend. Use your brain. I'll use my brain, and you use yours. Oh, you want to die? Not particularly. You're making a dumb choice, man. I made no choices. <laughs> He's changed. Should have let him die and warm him, little sack of shit. What was that all about? You're just as bad. What happened to loyalty? Yeah. What did?
Mrs. Ed. You okay? Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them O'Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw Colm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. Look, you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'll tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail, Jack, John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes. Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I. You know, you and me. We're more ghosts than people, but them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? <whistles> Thanks, Arthur. Okay, come on. <clears throat> I'm mourning for a killing. <laughs> hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. But one of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off, and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan then? Oh, I got a plan. Now, come on. Is that a woman? Jesus. Who the hell is that lady? That's the Hellcat saw Combs swing. Come on. Let's finish. It's over now.
You okay? Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. Mm. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. My, my. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean no, it. Like... I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Uh, I'm still standing, which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Please, go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh, well, that's very kind. Charlotte, it was a pleasure meeting you. 
You too, Arthur. Please be well. on army for it. Indians to blame. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Mama can't leave. Or won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know. I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fellow down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you see? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. That's enough now, partner. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off! Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son. Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. <laughs> All right. Let's go. I'm sorry I had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> I'm 
So you're sick now, too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Why help yourself? <sighs> I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. Mama! Mama! Oh, oh. oh you oh. silly boy. Oh, Archie, what do we do? Get out of here. Go. Live someplace else. Start over. Here. Take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I've seen it kill too many folk. <sighs> don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's... All I got is... Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Thank you. 